pretty. <laughs> Get comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Round two. Dentation Dent -dent -dent. Grand Prix. Sipang International. Good not, my, not my favorite. Uh, not my favorite drive uh, in the F1 2015 2014 game. Actually, <laughs> I, I love it. All right, so what are we doing today? Sorry, We're doing a drive along, what, a ride, along. Ride, ride along, ride along, ride along. Sorry. I think I named it something else. I got, I gotta get, <laughs> I gotta get drive used along, to it. ride along, right? I think we we agreed on ride along though, right? Yeah. What about drive like by? Like a police, a drive by, a drive by, police of a day trip. I think I think drive along or ride along. It's been advertised as a ride along before, so I, I think, think Malaysia we're... looks like kind of like a a mouth, yeah. like a like a top hat and then like a, a bottom lip. <laughs> oh, there's the elevation. I see it. Okay, so yeah. for people at home, we're watching the video. You guys can't watch it with us because they'll kill us. Yes. Yeah. Pe people at F1 will just come to our house and murder us. Yeah. Yeah. The elevation's <laughs> not extreme here, but. There is there there is that one dip. That, yeah, oh, like there's like an insect on the helicopter lens there. See it? <laughs> I think that's a record button. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, See in the black. Like no, right. to the right, to the right, right. Yeah, right. But a little bit left, 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 down. There you go. Oh, that might be my is screen, that on your dude. TV screen? That's uh, <laughs> that's on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was like crawling around on the helicopter. No, that would have been fun though. It's, Alonso. I showed a picture of Alonso now. Alonso. Looking slow. worried. Yeah. Alonso oh slow God. for real. They are really like squished in there, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Like, Look they at like, that. They, yeah. they have guys like just going like, like strap you down, like pull on those like seatbelts. You have to remove that thing around your shoulders to get in and out of the car. It pops out. So if it's on fire, is there like a safety protocol sort of thing? Like, is there. Yeah, that's like, that's do you just get shot out of your car because that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> That's actually why, uh, part, well, partly why I think Botas wasn't allowed to race last week. That um, you have to be able, I think it used to be six seconds and now it's five. If there's an accident, you have to be able to stop the car, unstrap yourself, get that thing and hop out in Holy five seconds. Shit. You have to pop the steering wheel off and get out in five seconds. Yeah, they, ma they so, measure this. Like they make them all do this and make sure that they whoa. can actually do this. Yeah, you have to be fit to race each, each weekend. So remember, he hurt, he hurt his back and he actually broke the five seconds, but. Um, they figured if there was like he was in some pain, so if there was an emergency or under the stress of the race, he might not have been able to do it. Gotcha. That's why he wasn't allowed to race. All this, right. This grid is so strange to see. Yeah, I mean, so, so many you, new guys. Did you guys watch yeah. qualifiers? I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. And how was that? It was great. It, was yeah. pretty cool. it, it rained like right, right between the second and third round. Ooh. Like hardcore rain. Uh -oh. Like Luke Torrential. Did it change everything? Like the hardest That's rain so we good. ever get here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They took like a, almost a fifteen minute break, ten fifteen minute break, something like that. Really? Well, Vettel broke the the the, the, the split the two Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, so see like this number two. Yeah. Jesus. On a Ferrari. Split the Mercedes but, with the Ferrari. And I, I, all the time that I was watching uh, qualifying, um, I was thinking, yeah, because Ferrari already had that down pad. They the, the, the Ferraris from a couple of years before they performed way better in the rain. Than they did um, uh, in like a long race stint. Yeah, uh, we knew that. We knew that the Ferrari was looking like it looked pretty handy in the race, uh, in in the rain. But now, like now, they have genuine like pace on top of that. Like, because I guess the way that they uh, fix the cars, like they make they make it very slippery for, or at least they had been making it like the Ferrari really slippery. Think I think that they're going for, or they used to be going like uh, aiming for that top line speed at the end of the straight. Yeah. Um, and, but now like they 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 clearly like they, their car has changed drastically. What's that? Both yeah. Oh, it's a bag of What's dry that? ice. Is that what you asking? Damn. To the left. Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they, they'll like put that in front of the fan or inside the. Uh, you see, a lot of teams have things that they plug right into. It's like a fan unit that they plug right into the intake. Okay. And they fill it up with dry ice to keep. They have the engines running right now. Ah, uh, gotcha. It keeps it cool while it's not moving forward. These they idle whatever a couple thousand RPM. Like where, where <laughs> your yeah. your Jeep is redlining, yeah. they're just idling there. <laughs> <laughs> this little kid. 
ready, oh, ready man. for the race. And with no fans on the radiator, so yeah, that's why. See, they're all clearing out now because they're going to do the warm-up lap. Oh, wow. And, okay, so at some point during the practice sessions, the track um, temperature got up to, like, what is it, almost like like, like 50 well, this, for the start of the race here in the pre-show, they mentioned this is the highest temperature the track's ever been for the race at the start here. It's, a, I think, 61 or 63. I don't know. I heard two, two different numbers. Right. 61 or 63 degrees Celsius So on the asphalt temperature. So good for tires then? No, bad for tires. I thought you wanted your... Well, I mean, your tires for, for a minute there at the very beginning, if you have fresh tires, they yeah. will be really grippy. Right. Yes, but then they'll degrade faster. There's ah, this thing like thermal okay. degradation when it, when the track is really, really hot. Yeah. Then like... Then it gets too hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like and, see, like last week in us or two weeks ago in Australia, it was like 15 degrees Celsius outside, and here it's 34 or 36. Geez. Another it's thing that's big, interesting big, is that big, they big, so yeah. they started this race because you have to start the race with the tires you qualify on, pretty much. The okay. exact um, same tires. Then it, be, most people, because it started raining, most people opted to use um, uh, their so, the, the softer tires, which in this case, uh, the options, the, 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 they're the medium tires. Mm -hmm. the, um, they're on wets. Right. Well, I mean... But before, before that, before they, that right? yeah, before that they were they were on uh, on on the medium tires because they thought like oh if we do like a quick lap uh, on the mediums now before it starts raining then that will go a long way. Gotcha. Yeah, because I well, it, it started raining in the middle of Q two. It wasn't at the beginning. It was mm -hmm. at the beginning that when the track was dry. They were just trying to get like really quick times before. So, I love rain. this camera angle here. Yeah, They're really low on Rosberg's car there. Everybody's, and everybody's running. This is like, oh, this is, I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> this is a new rule for this year. You have your team's got 15 seconds when the warning comes up to get get off the track. Oh wow! If you got any equipment or men still out there, you get. Uh, I think it's a 10 second penalty. So this now. Uh, constructors championship, and I saw another the drivers. The drivers drivers championship. Yeah, the drivers championship are the ones that this is the one that most people like cheer for. Like you know the oh, driver, right? Like the one that like wins the championship. But right, okay. Um, the points scored. Uh, by each driver, right? Uh, for for a team, they add up, and those points account towards the constructors' championship. Right. And now the constructors' championship is the one that gets the money. Okay, so you're gotcha. as a, as a constructor. So as a constructor, like equal in F one term is just the team. Okay, so the team that depending on how they score, that's how like they divvy up the money. Gotcha. And if okay. you want to get really technical, it's actually not the constructors' points aren't per. Driver, it's per car. Per car, like, right? So last and then week, they pay the drivers. Yeah, they they yeah. figure out a way to like pay the drivers accordingly. Yeah, but let's say like last week Alonso wasn't allowed to race, so Kevin Magnussen took over. His points uh, are st still go towards the constructor. Goes to the constructor, right? right. Okay. And now now Alonso's driving the car this week. <laughs> His <laughs> but points. But they scored no points, so anyway, well, yeah, they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't get any points, but they yeah. would have. Yeah. And then this week now Alonso's driving his points for the same car. Mm -hmm count towards the constructive for, right, to right. for for any team you know can we get a, the, more, a, a bit more yeah. audio yeah, yeah. yeah i want to hear these commentators a bit more this guy yeah. charlie whiting this is a race this is the guy that gets to press the red button to start the race yeah that the light, guy the lights come up He's, he gets to wave the flags and whatever what call, call, job. decides if the safety car pops up paid? I don't, know. I don't know he works for the fia though he does i don't think he makes a ton of ton of money but he makes decent money Oh my God, here he is. Oh my God. Here we go. Ready right, for those lights? It, Look at the lights. Look at the lights. You can move your mouse away. Oh, <laughs> Give it a click. Give it a click. There we go. Three, four, five, five lights. lights. Boom. Boom. There we go. Oh my God. And Check away out this we go. Look at Vettel. Uh, yeah. You almost pushed Rosberg right into the wall. It's critical yeah. here for Rosberg to get in front of Vettel. Oh, oh, oh Vettel driving very aggressively there. He, he bumped. <laughs> yeah, he kept ahead. Rosberg. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at Lewis, though. He's so far ahead already. Oh. Vettel and Rosberg fighting there, slowing themselves down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Verstappen just pushed somebody out. I missed it. He did. Yeah, he totally did. Is Erickson Erickson uh, still there in the fight? Look at Erickson. Yeah, man. Erickson's like, you know what? I wasn't sold on Erickson last year, but this year, like, 
He's like he's he's actually all right. He must be if you compare him to Felipe Nasser brought the he, money. He brought a title sponsor to the team, and uh, I guess Ericsson does have a lot of sponsorship behind him, but he's probably the better driver. Maldonado, Maldonado already. Maldonado's gonna puncture like, on the ah, first lap. <laughs> That's Jesus. the dude who crashed on the first corner yeah. last race. Oh my god! Already with a puncture. <laughs> the Maldozer. That's bad luck though for him, man. That wasn't his fault last week either. Yeah, poor guy. He just has. He's gonna get the record for the most accidents of all time when, yeah, when he that. retires. If he doesn't already, it's not something they want to talk about. Yeah, I'm sure they should. Make him, make him feel is there bad. some sort of like award system or like no no there should be well, just there, there public is, shame public yeah. shame and ridicule <laughs> so Hamilton so Rosberg okay Ham. Vettel is managing to keep Rosberg behind but not by not by the second that he needs he needs to be ahead of Rosberg um by a second at least so that the, 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 the so that Rosberg can use the DRS. So far, Rosberg at this point, lap two, can reach Vettel and possibly overtake on a DRS zone. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Yeah! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, that's oh, What's boom. That boom! Oh my god! And it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tire gone. Poor Raikkonen. His tire, his back left tire oh, just exploded. Who fucked it? I didn't see that. I didn't see who who the quad. I, yeah, one, like a little that. nudge. We, we didn't see. Like a little nudge. Yeah, we'll, we'll it, fuck that up. It, oh yeah, they're spinning oh, so there fast. Is, there, just a, they're, just they're a wing touch. They're about to show it. The replay. We'll see. Oh, who's that? Nasser. Nasser checked him. There. Boom. boom. Yeah, Nasser did it. What? What happened? What? You see that? Uh, the, his front just wing. That slight touch. Yeah. Just yeah, just touch the tire. We'll probably get another onboard replay. Oh, maybe not. Just because that tire is spinning so fast, just a touch yeah. burns right through the side. Oh my god! It doesn't take much with these cars, and, and so is he out? Well, he has to make it to the pit. If he so can mix, he can mix it, it around, yeah, if, it, yeah, if he makes it around to the pits, they can replace the tires, of course. If he makes it around, it would be a shame if that if if Kimi doesn't get to complete a race again. I think he's I think he's one of my picks actually. So I'm yeah. fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Full disclosure for everyone, I have seen this race already. Yeah. I'll, uh, I know who wins, but this is still very exciting. I don't know anything about this is the first this is my first pass. Extremely conscious of spoilers. Whoa, what's up? Fear not. Is that smoke? That was some tire smoke there, yeah. I think, yeah. White smokes tires, black smokes brakes. Oh shit. Yeah, and if it's like gray smoke, that might be from the exhaust. And like I was telling Danny, like before we we we, we sat down, um, this year, like because of remember how we showed you the that picture of the hollow, um, it bolts through that tire. Yeah. What he just? Oh my god, that was a terrible stop. It's definitely it must have made some sort of a that? difference because like sometimes like now like under braking you can see just like plumes of black smoke coming yeah. out of on the sides of the car. I think that's pretty cool. Probably designed like that. Like I I hadn't thought of that to be honest, but. Probably designed to send the brake dust through that hole. Oh yeah. Whereas oh, last, oh my god. So he made oh, it. He made he, it. He made it though. Yeah. They're like, oh, let me take off that. Oh. <laughs> What's oh no, no 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 no! Something's wrong with that. Something happened there. That's no. That didn't look right, man. What yeah. is going on this season with the back left tires? Last uh, race in this race already. That, he had a problem. Remember last race, his yeah, back yeah, left yeah. tire, and he wasn't the only one. Two other cars had problems. But that uh, front. Perez left one didn't look good. It was Perez in Australia too, right? He had a back left problem. There was something with the, yeah, with the way that the car was sitting after the tire got. It didn't look right. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on Raikkonen. It got be something like a road car. If your tire blows and you're driving, remember a few weeks ago when we were dri we didn't realize we were driving my car with the the <laughs> tire was flat. Yeah. Luckily that rim. It doesn't make that up. crazy noise like that. It was like, the middle. It was like one after one of the snowiest yeah, days. Luckily we were driving through like a foot of snow and yeah. ten kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but and it had got it, like it just gone flat. But that just, just my point is that it wrecks your rim. You, oh, you know, right, you know, right, right, right. Aluminum rim and just crushes it. We got lucky, but. Oh whoa, 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 whoa. no, that's NASA. No, no, that's Erickson. Erickson. Oh no, he's oh, beached. He so got beached there. Oh, that's sad to see. I thought Erickson was yellow. He, oh, he's the yellow flag. I thought Erickson had the yellow uh, camera mount. That, that's who actually hit Raikkonen. It was Erickson. 
No, no. Wait, really? No, Erickson so was. I think I think he's just gonna push him back, or is he, he done? If he, uh, not, if he cannot, they're bringing out the crane. Yeah, safety car actually. Safety car. Safety car deployed. No, if he cannot by his own means get his car out of that sand, yeah, he's beach. That's his race over. Done. That's it's yeah. They can. Although in the past, some stewards have like have been tricked pretty much by the drivers and schumacher did this one time like back when in the schumacher days like uh he got beach similar to that yeah. uh, i forget which in which race and he like when the when the marshals were coming to check on him he was just like he was just like yo give me like, give me a push and, like he made this with his hand like, he made yeah. this hand gesture give me a push give me a push and they they did they were like oh okay like and he, <laughs> and he came back on the race but then they were like it was like they weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But he was, did he get points at all for that? Yeah. Race? Like he finished the race. It was, that seems a little fun. Like it's like ah, sometimes the rules work. <laughs> no. So this is the thing. Almost. Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, here, oh, fuck. here we're seeing the start replay. No, see the K back here. So that's Raikkonen. Yeah. That's Nasser. It wasn't it. It wasn't right. It oh, wasn't Erickson. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Here's Rosic. Oh my God! He's so close to the wall. Yes, Vettel squashed him. Oh. Holy shit! Holy shit! Hamilton hit the brakes hard there too. His car bottomed out. Oh my god! Man, he squashed him there, right in that first like two hundred meters. Now, see, like in that sort of sense, like is it? Are you oh. allowed to do that? Do this. You're supposed to leave. He left him room. He didn't hit the wall. Yeah, so you're, you're supposed to leave like one car's length, but that's like, you know what I mean? It's kind of aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely being aggressive, but he didn't close the door. Technically, I'm sure the other car could have fit, but it was just very tight. Right. Lots of cars changing tires on this safety car. Safety cars on the track now. So is that like a prime opportunity? It's a great opportunity. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you're everyone the has to go the same speed, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. A lot of the, because the thing is, everybody's starting on the tires that they wrecked in qualifying. So you, uh, so you wear them out first, ones. and then... I think, I fucked up last week, I think, because I said... That I believe that you had three sets of the primes and two sets of the options. Yeah. You have three and three for each. For oh, okay. qualifying in the race, you have three of each for qualifying and the race to get you through both. And you must use both compounds in the race. Yeah. Either way, I mean, it's this early in the race, mm -hmm. if a safety car comes on, it's a great time to come in and like do your like do your switch of tires because you can jump in on like fresh tires. If the pack See here, is but here you can see like Back to at least Perez decided not to pit. The first five cars are didn't pit. Oh, that was close. Oh, sparks! I see sparks. Lots of sparks. Lots of smoke. Mm. Oh, look at that! Oh, delicious tire smoke. Woo! Yeah, they get, get kind of slippery. Really close. These, oh yeah, it gets the torque. You know, yeah, shit. Tap the gas and. Oh. Uh. Ooh, oh, yeah, see, that, that was right in the first lap. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> see, they, 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 I guess they are actually allowed to do that in, a, in, in the case that there's no, that there's no other safe way. You yeah, know what right, I mean? Like if, yeah. right? If because in that case, um, who was it? Team Radio. He he just said. Uh, that he thought the two Mercedes were purposely going slow before the before the safety car came out. Oh. I guess either trying to conserve their tires or fuel. So, so Ferrari has decided to leave Vettel out there just because he's leading. Look who's the in pack. second place: Hulkenberg, Grosjean's in third, Science Junior fourth, fifth is Perez, <laughs> Hamilton's jumped back to sixth, Ricciardo I don't think pit, Massa, yeah, there we go. From Hamilton back pit. Perez. So is Maldonado Force India is two and five right now. Did, did Maldonado go out? Is that, Okay, let me see. Let's uh, see this next. Like, oh. Is so much do you see off. that? Kvyat just passed Mary. Mary Mary's moving up. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he's probably like out still on track. Yeah, he would have moved out because these guys are in the pits. Yeah, that's why they decided on their second lap to pit. Oh, he got stuck, I guess. Uh -oh. Bad pit for Bottas. 
Uh-huh. Dat is even te kaar. This is what we were saying. That safety car is a very capable Mercedes. Mm. It's gunning it. And like even then, like these guys these are like guys clearly like, like wrong, going yeah. like as slow as they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gear shifts look so rough. And you can't pass anyone when the safety car is up. Correct. Right. And that's but why it like, gives a chance for everyone to catch up as well. Oh, yeah. You know, safety car. That's, that's what happens. Yeah, a, a safety car thrown in at a, at, a, at a key time can make or break somebody's race. Oh my god, that's yeah. fucking nuts. Yeah, it's, it's been safety car for a few laps now. Two yeah. so far. It started on the fourth, I think it was. Yeah, we're almost on the sixth it's, lap right now. As long as it takes to remove the car out of a d- danger zone, right? Like, whatever is dangerous. As they, soon as they brought that crane out there to pick up, uh, pick him up, pick up. Erickson. And I think we kind of were saying this earlier too. Like I think be- since um, it's- uh-huh. let's see. Yeah, look how far back. See, Raikkonen's stuck there. He's saying, "What's going on? These guys aren't even trying to catch up." He's stuck back there. Cause he, he, you see, yeah, he, his tire yeah. blew up. He's stuck way back. He, that was his team radio. He just said, what's going on? This guy's not even trying to catch the safety car. <laughs> they're supposed to be going full speed to catch up to the, the pack. There we go. Safety car's in. Nice. We restart. There we go. Green. Green flags. Yeah, see, this is one of the new rules this year. It's like, say if a safety car pops out late in the race after a couple cars have been lapped. Yeah. There used to be a rule that the safety car would actually have to stay out until the lapped cars unlap themselves and then catch all the way back up to the back of the pack oh my god oh here so we go i'm talking over the restart here but the, the rule now is the lapped cars once they pass oh, the safety Hamilton, car come on it. baby <laughs> come on <laughs> roscoe rocket oh, he's on fresh tires now a lot of people are and on fresh tires so like faster car. It, he's not gonna stay at the back there, the sixth or seventh place for too long. And oh, <coughs> he's about to get Perez. Oh, I didn't make it. He's on five and. Where would you guys say the the most opportune time to overtake someone is? Depends on the track. Is it depend on the track? Yeah. This, but I mean, every this, track this has track, a turn, right? Every tracks have most tracks have this, longer in, stretches. In this Usually, one, DRS zones and heavy braking zones for the most part. Like this track, the hairpin. Yeah. The hairpins are yeah, really they're at the end of that fir- that that first trade. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh oh, Massa with Massa no just power. Came on team radio saying he's not getting power. Lap seven. Maybe his ERS is broken. I don't know. I guess it really depends on how powerful your car is. Because if you want to overtake someone, like if because they're trying to overtake the person in front of them if they're not in first, right? Correct. And they're gonna go, they're gonna blast speed. They're gonna try to pass someone, and you're gonna have to outperform that if you want to pass that. You know what I mean? Overtaking in Formula One, it's like can st- can be a very tricky business too. Oh, yeah. oh it's like that. that. There you go. Wait, was that? That was now. Yeah, that was live. Hamilton just moved up, just passed Perez. Yeah. The thing, Mike, remember when we were talking about the oh, national... No, that, that was actually Rosberg past Perez now. Perez is back to ninth. See, he was in fifth right at, as soon as that oh safety car God. went inside. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. I see, like, the I see a lot of, I see a lot of, like, cutting off of, in corners and shit. Corners are... You can, when you the can co- hit those curbs. When the pack is bunched up like this... Yeah. Yeah. It's easy can. to... Uh, if you're... If you pass a car... While your car is off the track, if you have all four tires over that white line, so you can go off the edge like that. Yeah. If you get all four tires off that white line, or if you're doing it consistently on corners, you'll get flat, you'll get waved down or a penalty. And if you pass somebody with your four tires outside, you got you have to give that spot back right away. Position. As, oh, as, really? As, yeah. as early you as have possible. to stay within the track, ideally yeah. at all times. The thing is, like, one tire inside the track is okay. You're not right. off, you're not off the track. So you see, like, on some of these corners, there's there's just grass. Some of these corners, like on uh, seven, eight, like right there. See, they have, yeah. and Canada has this as well. They have like basically like those diamond-shaped patio stones mm. on the edge of the track. So it kind of like catches your tires. They're sharp edges, but they rip your tires up too. 
It kind of like catch. See there, see those pat. There's basically patio stones with grass growing in it. Yeah, so that kind of gives you like a super grip to keep you from flying right off, but tears up your tires at the same time. That's like the very edge oh, of the, the track. Oh, it's the chick razor blade. <laughs> 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 Who's that again? That was Alonso. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we skipped the grid walk. Oh well. Yeah, oh, see the Red Bulls there? See that, see that black cloud smoke shooting out? Black smoke, man. Two black smoke guns. What was that all about? <laughs> it's brake dust. Yeah. Uh, from, from, from those hollow nuts. A that they hand, use. handful of the teams this year have blown brake ducts where their wheel nut is yeah. hollow. So they got air blowing through there. Oh my God. To cool the brakes. Yeah. Red Bull's one of those teams that has them. A handful have it. Five or six teams this year have it. But Five the Red Bull like, solution seems way more dramatic than anything else. Either they're breaking harder than the other teams because they don't have the downforce or they're when you're, uh, just venting the dust uh, more. <laughs> I don't know, man. When you're making turns and stuff like that, and I notice this happens very, very often, uh, you're well, going sh on... Oh, sorry, sorry yeah, team, radio. team radio. They just told... Uh, the wall just told Rosberg that... Uh, he shouldn't have trouble moving up a few spots because he's one of the few cars on prime tires right now. Gotcha. All right, so like I see a lot of uh, they they cut into that red and white. Or sorry, the opposite. The the red and white outline. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the, the, uh, curbs. the curbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. K e r b s. K e r b s. Not yeah. c u r b s. Why? That's how. Because it's F one. Because it's F one. <laughs> Get with the lingo. Uh, does it slow you down? Yeah, a lot. They sort of like if you nick it, you're not gonna lose a whole yeah. bunch of speed. Most of the corners you want to hit that because, see these these ones are kind of low. But right. Like when we, you'll see when we get to like we're going to Montreal, we'll get on the track. Yeah. You'll see on like some of those chicanes, the curbs are like this. Like you don't see it on like the TV. It bump. doesn't show the TV. See, but these are a different style. They're really like, they're maybe ten or fifteen degrees slanted. Right. But yeah, some of the tracks that, have look big look ones. That, look at that. Look at that. There's Hamilton on the oh, inside. Just lap ten. Up to third place. Good Back to third. And Rosberg just took Oh, there's that hill you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. Boop. <laughs> Rosberg just took Massa right behind him, too. Oh, there they go, down the hill. Oh, Massa's going to try to take him back. Oh, my God. He's going to fight him into the next corner. No. No. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Erickson. He's got his... Wait, who's that? Sunglasses on. Marcus Erickson. It's the guy that like got beached on that. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Beach this car. How do you do last race? He got some points. He got the first points in his career last uh, last oh, week, uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. He went up to eight. Yeah, I think eighth. Yeah, yeah, I think eighth place. Which is good. Good for the for like like coming from a team that scored no points last year. Like uh, Hulkenberg is who? He's a Force India driver. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. That's pretty exciting. I remember, yeah. I remember talking about He's that. In second place right now, but 9.299 seconds oh. behind Vettel. He's going to get an overtaken. And by Hamilton's Hamilton. up to third. He just moved up again. The ham bone. The ham, the Roscoe Rocket. Roscoe Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, like Canada has a couple corners, big curbs. Like, you know, if you go over them, you're getting a back injury or you're going to go flying into the wall. Jesus. But these are more like the more modern style where they're like kind of on an angle like this. Right. So kind of what happens is your your car comes and hits it, and it puts your outside tire more flat on because of the camber. Okay. Your outside tire is more flat, so it kind of like, gotcha. Kind of like angles you into the corner. Gotcha. Keeps you from playing out. You'll see almost every corner these guys will go over them. This also shortens your corner. If you go, you know, half a meter shorter every single time you lap. You're going to hear a spring noise for a second. This is kind of... Boom. Oh, what there happened? Oh, know. it was just, just not... It was just like kind of... The string, spring was popping out. <laughs> Let's put it back in the groove. Boom. Hamilton's back up to second, right behind Vettel. It Jeez. took him what? Vettel's All in the like... lead, though. Nine point... Nine nine five second difference. Jesus Christ! And how many laps? Like four. <laughs> yeah, like, they really go onto those red and whites. Yeah, yeah, yeah the curbs, man. They, they really the, do. Or the the, the, the you got, the curbs, part yeah. of it is like hitting the apex. Black. 
Right. No, I understand that. I yeah. understand. But yeah, it's like, like when I'm playing, like I'm really trying not to go on those. No, you want to hit them. Sometimes you have to. Almost every track, you want to hit them. Because you don't want to. You don't want to go like all four tires out of it. Right, but right. like, no, no, that you, I you drive. You want to tire, like, like I say, imagine you're cornering. You're coming across a corner. Yeah. It bon- keeps your car on an angle so that there's more force on the outside tires. It gives you okay. the extra grip to to go around. To okay. Really, really go around. Yeah. If you drove the whole way around the corner on those things, it would slow you down. But sometimes, if you clip it just right, it actually makes your lap faster. Yeah, see, again, yeah, you can see they're they're curved. But like some tracks, they're designed differently. Like on Canada, there's a couple of spots where they're designed so that it pun it almost punishes you to hit them. Like you don't want to hit them because it's like the 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 corner where the Wall of Champions is, the the last corner, it's dangerous if you. Don't oh slow my enough. god, he's so Whoa, close. That was uh, very yeah. That was intense. Was that uh, Red Bull? I think Ricardo right just there? made or a move. It? We're gonna have to see. Yeah, here's a replay. Oh yeah. No, it was, oh, a, was, well, a, it, was it was a Toro Rosso. Oh, Sainz. Okay. Carlos Carli- Chile, Chile Sainz. Chile. We're gonna see another replay of the next corner. Yeah, here we go. Oh he was going for it. On re- Oh my goodness, Ricardo yeah, lost two spots there. Yeah. Oh wow. my god. That was crazy. <laughs> what are their times? I mean, like for a lap. What's what are their laps like? You you'll see them. It's just show soon. Every every time somebody breaks their lap record, you'll see it pop up. Uh yeah, they'll bring it up once in a while. Yeah. I want to compare on, on the bottom on the bottom here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure they destroy me in every regard. On the bottom here, when you see number one, yeah. This is, oh, this is a cool view right here. Somebody made a little gif of this on on uh, on Reddit. When you see number one on the bottom timer, they give you the lap time, and then the differences. So, yeah. Vettel nine point nine, almost ten seconds ahead of Hamilton on lap thirteen. Let's let's see how long it takes. He's holding the gap. He was point nine nine five two laps ago. So Hamilton only made up like a hundredth of a second <laughs> in the last two laps. He just hasn't turned it all to, uh, up to eleven yet. So we got eighteen. Yeah, car, so those 18 black cars clouds. Holy shit. It's intense. <laughs> so much brake smoke. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't see it on there. Hmm. Yeah, it's breaking in now. Rosberg still stuck in fifth. But he is he is on the hards. I wonder why they did that. They're probably like just like banging on him doing like a really long stint up. Yeah, I think that's what that team radio was about. I think they um I think they split the strategy. That's what they told Rosberg. He's one of the only cars Whoa, that was last smoke. Oh Rosberg's one of the only guys on the hard tire right now. Oh. What do you say? Oh. Keep doing this. Basically, maintain the doing. gap. Maintain the gap. Just a little encouragement for Vettel. Fuck, man. They're Ooh. so <laughs> somebody, fast. Somebody just hit the grass hard there. Yeah. Vettel. Vettel. <laughs> Behind Vettel. <laughs> oh, my God. He's that's killing nice. That's what, yeah. almost 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Like, ten, he's, he's managed to... Increase the gap. I think Hamilton only really closed that gap a bit. Oh, he's only at five and a half now. What the hell just happened? You see that? He was oh, just at shit. ten seconds. Nine point nine point oh nine. There comes Nico. Look, Nico now already. Oh, Boom, yeah, third place. He's catching everybody. Look at that black smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the Red Bulls are incredible for that. This is much tighter than uh, the last one. I've There's noticed. also a lot more car- <laughs> a lot more cars on track this weekend. Oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> they were d- down to 11 at the end last time. <laughs> Here we got a full grid. We started with 19 cars. One, if, I don't know if you missed it. Uh, one car did not start the race. Oh. They didn't get Will Stevens. 
Yeah. He, something happened to his engine in uh, practice, and they didn't get it built back built back up in time. I don't even think he qualified, did he? No, or, not, or did he uh, go in no, qualify? They, I forget, they, no, no. no. Uh, but uh, the FIA led the two Marushas, or would have let the two Marushas go because they at one point, at one point they broke that one yeah. one hundred seven during practice. So far behind though. Still, last year's engines. I love this view, man. The camera's so low. I know. Like six inches off the ground here. So, well, when's uh, when's China? A couple weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks from now? I think April 11th. Oh, I'll shit. I'll tell you in one second. That's after uh, the Bamboo Show. Nice! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to start to watch the qualifiers. April, April 10, 11, 12. Nice. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a the lot qual- of fun. The qualifying is intense fun. Yeah. It's, uh, I am... Laura won't like won't sit down to watch the full race, right? Because I mean, she loses interest. But like she like she's watched qualifying with me a few times. Mm. Like okay, it, it's because it's it's kind of like it's rapid fire action, right? There's yeah, always something like, going on. Three rounds, yeah, exactly. Three rounds, and then yeah. Actually, yeah, same thing. My ex would watch him once in a while too. Never a race. I, I honestly, I'm I get pumped up for the qualifying as much as the race, but. I'd yeah. rather watch a race anytime, because, it, like, I, I, feel, if, I feel like the the qualifiers like determine almost so much of the a lot, a lot, a lot yeah. totally. Yeah, determine not not just place, but I mean like tires used and yeah, yeah. because sometimes like a, a guy will go out and have a bad lap, yeah, and they'll be like they'll take a risk, use another fresh set of tires to try to do one more fast lap, but yeah. then the best part of the tires fucked up before you start the race. You still have those same tires to use on the on Sunday. Yeah, it's a lot of strategy. Yeah, and again, the rapid fireness of it—you're just doing as hard laps as you can. That's mm-hmm. where you're gonna see the fastest laps, you're going right on the edge. People are running with like way less fuel too because they're they, and they have the car optimized for right speed. Back. That's true. How far is Ferrari gonna take? Can we get maybe stint? five more percent on the the commentary? Just a little bit more. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. One more. Sure. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You feel like we're missing a little bit there. Uh, Just move that mouse. Yeah. Yeah, move the mouse (laughs) out of the way. (laughs) Mike. I love this though, man. Like. The field is fucking competitive. Yeah. Look at this. It's mixed up, man. Well, a lot of it has to do with a bunch of teams ditching Renault. <laughs> <laughs> but Ren- I don't know. Look at Verstappen. Verstappen's just moved up to eighth. Kvyat just moved up to ninth. Both oh, on Gro- Renault Gros- engines. Grosjean Pitt, actually. That's why. Yeah, exactly. They're, yeah. The Renaults are in the middle of the field, but and they're just and, pissed they're not where they want to be. And I... It's like look at Vettel where it is, right? Managing to fend off and keep Lewis Hamilton at bay. That means that it's it can't all just be in James Allison's handiwork uh, with the arrow. The engine is better, of is course. much better. Of course, something- Ar- 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 Arriva Benetti. Something about that guy is just like you see him his face. He's a super yeah. likable guy. Yeah, and he doesn't really show up, but uh, he's one of those guys that like sees through everybody like he's oh like, yeah this, he like i'm sure like you just see someone's talent and switched everyone around at the factory like you're gonna be the boss now type of thing yeah somebody who was like what he just and he definitely he's, he's, he's of where g- they came from he's got everybody but working together i know italians like everybody that's from mediterranean europe like they don't they don't necessarily like like working and working hard is not necessarily <laughs> something that they like to do yeah what are sure they doing at the ferrari factory they're well, drinking wine and having naps in the <laughs> afternoon they, I've, if, if you look on uh like how it's made supercars show mm-hmm. they have um episodes about the ferrari cars and they have like these skylights and trees growing in the yeah, factory the, the everything trees, is yeah. painted white yeah, polished, uh, yeah. clean it's beautiful there it's a very, uh, but very relaxed and. But I'm sure, like that, the, 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 yeah, Rio Verde probably has him working around the clock and actually, like, you know, let's like let come on, man. Yeah. You look in his guys. eyes. You look in his eyes. You can tell he's not sleeping a lot. No. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. There he goes. Is that is that, that Checo? Y- yes, it is. 
Oh, he did it. Oh, his old his teammate. His old teammate, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lab 17, Sergio Perez. Yeah. But yeah, it, look at that. Andy got the he got the DRS at, before he passed him. <laughs> awesome. We're talking about worlds apart, though. I mean, Jensen is about to get like. Yeah. It's so sad that the McLarens are so so far back. You, I don't know. I think this is gonna gonna be Jensen's last year. When you see him talking oh, interviews yeah. and stuff, and um, compared to even though it's nothing like his age, he's similar age to is a bit older, but similar age to Alonso. But the way that he's talking about the car, he's just like, eh, whatever, you know, I got my stupid mustache, <laughs> I'm running my marathons, and, you know, do what we can. And yeah. Alonso's, Alonso, I think, realized that he talked too much shit about Ferrari, and now he's, he's, he's got his full belief and everything behind Honda. He's, yeah. He hasn't said a bad word, right? He's like, oh, no. He has to. I, th- I, th- I think he, he, he knows that if, if mm-hmm. Honda doesn't perform... He's going to end up his entire his career with no more championships, because if he yeah. if he doesn't start winning yeah. races soon, yeah, you know but what I mean. Just his belief, Button's given up. No, oh, but Button's given up because he knows for sure that he's not gonna last one more, one more year. Yeah, he was he was on the he was I think pretty upset about them him sorry them using him as a bargaining chip last year, right? And uh, he's married now. He's just gonna go to retire. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's, a, he's, he's a got enough money in there. Like, yeah, exactly. He's got he's got money. He's into he's into marathons and stuff now. He'll probably become famous for that, doing triathlons or something yeah. like that. Sponsoring some products, yeah. yeah. Starting some sort of line of like you know either nutritional supplements or like like most of these guys. Though I doubt you can actually see. Look at the front look tires. At that. Oh, fighting the Red Bulls. Look at their front tires. There, you can't tell. <laughs> they look like the old hard tires. You can't see oh. the lettering anymore from all the brake dust. Remember the old hard tires were like gray paint? Or they were like contrasted black type of thing? <laughs> That's what the fronts the fronts on the Red Bulls look like that. The black ones are bright whites. I mean the back ones. Bright whites though. That's crazy. Yeah. That was Kvyat on. And look at that. Ricardo. Look at that. That was a Toro Rosso just passed both Red Bulls too. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This is incredible, man. Just the race between the four Renaults is is exciting. It's look, like, they're all like six, seven, eight, nine or something. Look at that, though. Uh, they're fighting Toro, back and forth. Yeah, Toroso like high, like way up there with the Ren- uh, with, with the Red Bulls. Jeez. You know, Red Bull was pissed, but um, oh look at that! Look at that black smoke. Jeez, that's incredible, man. The sparks and the bl- flying through the black smoke. Yeah, Jesus. Look at those front it's tires. It's so dramatic on the Red Bulls. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah you, can even, tell, you can tell just on the front the tires. The front of the car and the whole front part of the nose and everything is, uh, it's not even purple anymore. They're yeah. going to have problems with like filling up their intakes full of black dust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the engine intakes above the driver's head, that's where the, the engine's breathing from, but those radiators are going to be clogged. <laughs> yeah, seeing those four Renaults fight. But uh, I think Renault, like Red Bull was pissed, but... Uh, what's anything guys? Cyril Abitabuli. He, he, he might not have been wrong about um, criticizing Nui. He was, look at the uh, look at that. Nui is Versta- not infallible. Verstappen's right in front of Ricciardo and Kvyat. Alonso, J- oh Ricciardo Pitt. Max Verstappen is in front of both Red Bulls. That's awesome. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. On lap like, ni- lap nineteen, we're about. Thirty percent of the race. What a time to be alive, <laughs> when when rookies don't completely suck in F one. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> when I, the new drivers that join the field are not just there for money; they're actually putting a show button. Jeez. <laughs> uh, the one. This, this is something that they, they kept saying. They kept saying on the qualifying show. I think. Um, uh, McLaren keeps saying that oh yeah the car is good the chassis is good the chassis is good but it doesn't look that good no they look like they look they're they're back markers but badly man the uh the pit wall just asked button if he's if it's possible for him to do 10 more laps and he said his front left is done basically yeah they have all kinds of problems these guys yeah, yeah that's better. <laughs> 
Lap 19 and, and um, Brundle just said that that the Sauber looks pretty hand like like pretty steady and it does. Yeah, uh, it does. I mean, Nasser is like all the way out there on the hards, but he's like he could be he could finish tenth. He could finish within the points. Uh, along with obviously the Ferrari engines doing something this year. Yeah. Too bad. I want to see like what it's really doing because. Raikkonen blew his tire on the first lap there. Is that like, yeah, right at the start. Vettel's back in third now. So Vettel is out in the mediums, fresher mediums. <laughs> on the customer team. No, no, Kimi is. Vettel hasn't pit yet. Vettel's on his first tires. Yeah, but Raikkonen just went over uh, Nasser on, on the cus like. Oh, sorry, you, you, customer said, you said Vettel. That's right. Oh, oh. Uh, Nasser just drove himself off the corner there, off the outside. <laughs> oh, and last two spots. Oh my god. Nasser just went out on the uh, second last corner there and lost two spots. Vettel's in third place right now, 1.6 behind Rosberg, who is 7.3 behind... On fresher tires. On fresher tires. 7.2 behind Hamilton in the lead. So, Mer Mercedes... Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. So... Yeah, I think they, they might replay this this message. Hey, Rosberg, sir. Vettel is actually catching on Rosberg right now because he has newer tires. He's a uh, point seven behind now. Uh, Rosberg just asked the wall if Vettel passes him, is he gonna win the race? And they told him both of you have one more stop to make, but he's on fresher tires. Yeah. Oh my God, things have happened. Yeah. Yeah, see, Vettel's, Vettel's on the mediums, and um, Rosberg's still on the hards from from the uh, from the safety car. Vettel's oh, catching up on him right now. So fast. Right, we'll see. We'll see if Rosberg can keep him behind. And Vettel just dipped into the DRS zone on Rosberg. What is DRS zone? The, it's a flap that opens. The back. drag reduction system zone. Oh, okay. So they pop the back wing open. Yeah. So this track has uh, two DRS zones. So basically, if you are within one second of the guy in front of you, when you pass the DRS detection zone line, yeah, DRS zone detection line, which is right before the second last corner, I think, uh, you can open your wing through the DRS zone. So the driver to try to overtake. Uh, look, 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 that wing. So see the that back wing wings there. popped open. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, but they kept. So what? Ooh, Alonso. Alonso just got asked to pit and end his race. And there he Vettel is. Past Holy see, shit! Vettel. See that? On Vettel Rosberg. just passed Rosberg, but Rosberg has the DRS zone. Look at this. Look, look, look. Look, 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 gaining because uh, trying to recoup the per oh shit see Vettel would have passed him just before the detection zone let him open shit Vettel back in second place just passed the fucking Mercedes on the on the main straight oh right, on the, right on the last corner but and each of the Mercedes has one more t one more stop to go as, oh yeah so I see Vettel. his is fully down right right now there's no. only two zones you know, like the big two straights, mm -hmm. that's where you they can open it, period. They, they can't okay. just like pick and choose. Okay. And only if they're within one second of the person ahead. Some tracks are one DRS oh, wow. zone and some are two. Yeah. Now, how, how do you know that you're one second behind? Like, obviously, so, you have to be very close. You I don't, mean. well. They, they know, but the drivers have their earphones in where they yeah. can communicate. And that's and something it's that it's they a, can communicate with. It's, it's all an automated system. So if you're within a second, it like yeah. beeps. You get a beep, and and there's a light on the dashboard. Okay. And then when you pass the line where you can open the wing, yeah. you hear you hear like a boop, and then they press with their thumb, press a button. Gotcha. And you'll see a light on your dashboard flash. Okay. And then the wing stays open until they touch the brakes. Okay. 
So as soon as you touch the brakes, the wing snaps close. Or if you hit that button again, you can close it. Right. Because you don't want to be turning with the wing open. What's going on here? Spin around. Alonso's race is done. They yeah. probably they, they probably found something in the telemetry, in yeah. the sensors that they have in the car. There's probably something wrong with the engine. And Alonso's already one engine down from the one that got blown over in, oh, in Australia. No. You remember how like, the yeah, car, yeah, yeah, yeah. car caught on fire on the opening lap? Yeah. yeah. The outside out, out lap? Yeah, that was his car. So they, they're probably like choosing to save this engine. Vettel. <laughs> Shit. Arriva Bene telling Vettel he's a good boy. Well, good boy. Good, <laughs> good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> that wasn't probably Arriva Bene. That was like just some Italian race engineer. Oh, Alonso out of the car when Alonso out of the car. With Vettel within a clear right reach at, of first place in this race, he's right like at, he must be boiling inside. Right yeah. at lap twenty three, half halfway point right now. As soon as these last two guys, a few guys, pass the line. You see Hamilton that? Just look, said, look at okay, this guy. Yeah, 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 look, look, at, yeah look at that. See, so during the nineteenth lap. See, Vettel, Vettel's catching him. See, look how much he got, like, about two seconds a lap on He's him. He's getting right. closer and closer so, and closer. <laughs> Hamilton just said on the radio, my rears are dropping off. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Look at that. Another Toro Rosso another Toro passing Rosso. another Red Bull. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Humiliation. Humiliation yeah, time Ricciardo, for Red Bull. Ricardo just got overtaken. <laughs> by Verstappen. Crazy. No, you know what? This track only does have. I, th I thought so. This track only does have the one DRS zone. The no, detection dude. is. No, uh, no, no. They showed it at the beginning. It's like that and that, one hundred percent. This maybe, might, maybe this that, might be older. Yeah, yeah, that might be old. During the two straightaways. Yeah. Let me double check. One hundred percent. I know this to be true. So they they do sort of like yeah, obviously you know like overtaking <laughs> is a huge part of this. Well, you want you. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any point no, no, to the no, no. race. <laughs> Well, no, 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 that's how, just, that's, it would just that's, be a Sunday shut, drive. Shut, shut the fuck up. That's not what I meant. That's not, but like, there seems like okay, why I said that is because there seems that there's so many fucking rules to this thing that like, just like, well, if you, you know, on every other Friday during an eclipse, you can't overtake someone who's three and a half seconds above you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there just seems to be so much. But like, there are ways to sort of. Encourage that during right certain portions of the race. The, the DRS um, regulations they, they basically uh, came into the sport only a few years ago, and some people like kind of like well up we're all up in arms because they said like oh it's like an artificial it's artificial it's like you know it, it was it was obviously brought in to like increase the chances of everyone to right. overtake the driver the, the driver ahead of you mm -hmm. by basically like giving you an unfair advantage down. Down, down the straight. See, it's but not, it's, it's not, not too unfair, not so unfair though, because anymore. you have to be within a second. So, if you're within a second of the person before, that means that you're keeping up with their pace, and then the DRS just gives you like that extra boost that you would need to go and right. overtake down the straight. And now that's the down that downforce that no, no because the downforce. <laughs> And Sebastian Vettel no. is in first place. Oh, look at that. Oh, Hamilton, Hamilton bitched out and pulled into the pits as oh, he got passed. Oh, my yeah. God. We're talking We're talking about something huge that just happened. Lap 25, Sebastian Vettel. Like on sec oh, they're ready for him, but that seemed like a split-second decision. A Ferrari on first place leading the race. <laughs> for Legitimately. When Al and Alonso is out oh. of this race. They change, yeah. They change the tires. Hamilton's on the mediums now. This is what Ted's yelling into the microphone right now. He said they just changed their mind as he came in. We say first time since 2013 that, uh, that Mercedes was passed on the track, <laughs> like in first. That's awesome. You see what just happened though? They changed his strategy. Yeah. Oh my god, those clouds. 
every time the Red Bulls come around, it's just <laughs> a black cloud. I mean, figuratively and literally for them. See, at the, wow. When when DRS was new, there was I think a lot of those criticisms were legitimate about it being artificial, because in this into the second and third years, some tracks they added a second DRS zone. Some tracks they took away a second DRS right. zone. They were, or, right. or they, they were just getting the technology figured out. Or oh, they lengthened or shortened them. Like some of them will start like two thirds down the straight. Because at first they they're just guessing. They're trying to give you a DRS zone. That can close you about one second, okay. or maybe a bit less than one second, because they don't want you to just have too much of an advantage and you just blow past. They want right. it to be like that DRS zone should give you enough of a boost to get just beside the guy and still have to fight. But at the beginning, some of them were too long, or they were too and or not long just, enough, or just, even yeah, or not long enough, and cars <laughs> were just flying past. Mm -hmm. Or else it was just like, or it wouldn't work in almost no advantage. Yeah. It's, it's, and they figure and uh, some tr most tracks only had one DRS zone. Yeah. Uh, now all of them except one or two have two DRS zones. Yeah, there's very few that it, only have one. But it, it, anyway, it's it's a regulation that now I think it's gotten to a point where it's quite fair. It's it's quite good. Yeah. It's it's I gotten to a sweet no spot. One, no one's complaining. So these two guys have DRS, but they both have it fighting this guy ahead of them who's slowing them down. And they're on the same car, so. They're not at gaining any advantage by having like a bigger. That was team radio. Oh, shit. Oh, that was clouds. Ah. So Ricciardo was just told to let Kvyat, Kvyat pass. That, and that's what just happened. Oh. Next corner. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Jesus. Shit. That was Perez? No. The, no, oh. that was that was Hockenberg. Kvyat. Hockenberg ca caused it, though. How can break hit kick Fiat? Oh shit! I thought it was Perez for a sec. Even though I've seen this, I watched most of it between two and three in the morning, not sober. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you hear me yelling stuff, it's I, I'm I'm surprised for real. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember this though. Let's see this replay from like Ricciardo's was, point of view. Yeah, so he would this. Oh yeah, this is. Oh! Yeah, they put the wrong graphic up. That was Kvyat got hit, no? Yeah, they just put the Ricciardo graphic up. Yeah, yeah there we go. Rock, yeah, they fucked Ooh. up. Ricciardo's on the outside. But Jeez Louise. Ricciardo was just told to let him pass, and he got fucked by Hockenberg. Oh, my God. Hockenberg just knocked knocked Kvyat in the first corner. For second, the, second corner. Some may say even Between out of this race. Point. Well, it looks like he. No, he's gonna, he's gonna keep going, but that's what um, Crofty just said. That uh, the force, the force India and and uh, Red Bull engineers will be happy with their suspensions for not breaking there. They just bounced each other. Yeah, both cars are still driving. Look at that! Look Hamilton, at that. Hamilton's fresh tires though. Just took first the fastest four lap. positions: two Ferraris and two. Mercedes, the two Ferraris, Schwanch, one Ferrari Schwanch. ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. When you hear Ted's voice, you know it's breaking news. So yeah, they, Mercedes just split. They did. They just split. Arriva the bene, like split the happy as L. <laughs> Mercedes just Happy split, the, split the strategies between Rosberg and Hamilton. So Hamilton was supposed to get the hard tires there. He was expecting to go to the end. They put him on the mediums. But he's ca catching Vettel now, I guess. 22.3 seconds between Vettel and Hamilton. Oh, no, man. Now, does Vettel have to That's a big again? Gap. He might or might not. He might choose with this, with this type of, of a of gap. A Vettel's, yeah. on, Vettel's on his first tires. Really? He has not pit yet. How many, no, how many seconds pit? do you think you would lose if he pitted? About 18 on seconds. On average, throughout the year, it'll be about 20, like 18 to 20-something seconds. So he's getting close. Right. right. But if he can maintain that gap, there is, like, it, if he can time it somehow. We've been it, yelling too much. Did he pit? At one point, 
there's they're they're gonna get to a point that they're like the front the, the people at the front are gonna start lapping the back markers, mm. and there's gonna be traffic that to worry about. So if like if Intel can flags. maintain that gap for long enough, they're gonna move into traffic of the back markers, and he can pro- he could probably pull it off. I'd right. say if if Ferrari play their pit strategy correctly. They would, but Ferrari, for some reason, over the past few years, has been notorious, oh. <laughs> notorious, and not knowing the right time to pit their people. I'd say, but this year, like this year, they look pretty good. Oh, Ricardo just took Hulkenberg. Kvyat's back in twelfth now. That's incredible. He was just told. Team Radio. <laughs> so yeah, but Button's catching up because Hulkenberg's causing a train right now. He's causing a traffic jam. 10th, 11th, and 12th, and 13th are having a battle right now. That's what the broadcast is concentrating on. Raikkonen's right on, or sorry, Rosberg's right on Raikkonen's ass right now. Half a second. DRS. Point three, point two seven. Oh, it's swinging out, uh, it's swinging see, in. Raikkonen Ra- knows how to defend his DRS check. number two. <sighs> yeah, Raikkonen's out in the. Ra- Rosberg's out in the clean air, and he's passed. Rosberg's. Raikkonen's They're switching lines place. though. Kvyat and Halkenberg on. Kvyat and Halkenberg on dead under investigation. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Hockenberg, he clearly knocked Kvyat. I'm not sure if he deserves a penalty for that. He clearly knocked him there. He was the guy behind. He hit the gas yeah. and pushed him out. Guess we'll see if he gets a penalty. Yeah, do you hear that? So Vessel and Hamilton both have to pit one more time, and this yeah. is what I'm saying. If for like Ferrari have to be very very careful now. If they if they play their cards right. They will be able to keep that advantage, or at least like that position. Yeah. See, Vettel has not pit yet. He's on his first tires, but they they split him. See, uh, I think Rosberg is doing a two stop. He's on the hard tires. <clears throat> He's gonna try to run to the end. The the two and the two Mercedes were doing a two stop. That was like from the very were, beginning. That's what they were gonna do. There's yeah. like six helicopters there. <laughs> but yeah, you see, it right as uh, right as uh, Hamilton came into the pits, they changed their mind and threw mediums on him. They put him on a three stop. It is. It is gonna come down to the last three laps. Ted's predicting a th- last three lap battle right now. Oh, this is a fucking amazing Grand Prix. Yeah, that's true because <laughs> Vettel is leading on the mediums. He still has to use the hards. So Hamil- far, Hamilton started on him. In, in terms of action, can, this has already like way more than made up for last like the last couple of weeks. You see what's happening there in five laps. Hamilton's cleaned up four seconds on Vettel. Yeah, but it's not going to be enough. Almost a second a lot. It's not going to be enough though. Now is that because of the tires that he just got the fresh tires? Fresh tires. Fresh tires. Fresh tires. Like and, and, and he's and obviously like, a, a talented like, racer, and he's trying to like he's you know, so these two Red Bull, are they the two Red Bull? It's I, I know you, you're new. Like, I'm new, you, and this you, is still you, confusing. Yeah. I see a bull that's red. I'm yeah, like, oh, I know. Red Bull. Man, it's 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 hard. Like you'll you'll get it but eventually. That's Toro, but like, Toro Rosso, right? Sometimes it's Toro Rosso. Sometimes it's Red Bull. <laughs> so look look for the look for the yellow nose. That's <laughs> yellow uh, nose is a big differentiator the, for the them. Clearly, yellow nose. That's Red Bull. Yeah, the, the golden thing. nose is. Yeah, they don't. They, it's not. <laughs> I know. I know, man. I know. I know. The Red Bull. See, right? They got the. <laughs> That's okay. That big, was Red Bull. Rig yellow nose and yellow intake. That's the two Daniels. Yeah, okay. that's that, so that, that's Red Bull. <laughs> okay. Ros- They're so, leaving it too late. Mercedes were just told. They told Hamilton, we are on target to win. And they told Rosberg, you are on target for second place. But he's going to have to battle Vettel no. near the end of the race. Yeah. And 
Lewis even. They the, told that, was, Lewis. that was two separate. That was two separate. I, I know those yeah. were two Ham- separate. Ham- but yeah. Hamilton is on. They told him he's on pace for the win. He's on pace for the win, but he, it's gonna have to be done during on, on the track, race so on guess. track. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, they're so not gonna pass in the pits. No. It's gonna be a battle. Nice. That's what they're telling both guys. A yeah, battle at the end. Both Ted Mercedes, was right. <laughs> both Mercedes were told by their wall they're gonna have to fight. Oh, jeez! Oh was, shit! That was a big crash. Wow! Oh. Spin. Oh, he's, he's, gonna, he's still he's going. Gonna, he saved it. Grosjean just got knocked nice. off the track and did a 360 and walked away. See, look at this. Look at the. <laughs> look at his back tires. I think the um, these Lotus are. Have the brakes set to the back. You see that they're black. His back Look. tires are black. Look at that replay. And here's Ooh. where it all goes bad. <sighs> Who caused that? How can no Perez? Perez, Perez dude. There's Perez no like fine Perez. or anything like that, is there? Like if, like if I'm, they say they have they they have this like license points system that they introduced last year, where like if you really like if you're clearly driving like an idiot out there, they yeah. can award like they you have a maximum award, of twelve award points you a penalty. <laughs> well, they have, you have a maximum of twelve points, so like they can say like okay, whatever that was, that was worth three points. Okay, and the points that they deduce from you stay around for a year, not a whole season, like a year, a calendar year. Oh, geez. so. Here, team radio. Grosjean's pissed. He just Can't lost, believe he it. Just lost two or three spots. See, like right now, Hockenberg's under investigation for causing an accident where he sp- sp- spun Kvyat. Oh, shit. So I guess you'll find out before the end of the race if he's going to get a penalty. If they don't decide before the end of the race, yeah. they'll give it to him next weekend or next at China. If they decide in the race, they can give them a drive through, a five second, a ten second, or gotcha. they could say like that was an accident. Yeah, they're gonna watch the replay, I guess. But you know, you don't get to see that on the broadcast. They'll just, whenever they make a decision, they'll show you. Look at this. Hamilton's catching up though. Every every lap, one point three, point five, one point one. Only seventeen seconds. Now it's definitely under. Nah, it's not. It's not gonna happen. It's all- um, Ferrari, like they have, they they're probably crunch at this point in the race. <laughs> somebody's sitting in front out. of like a big computer, trying like looking at all kinds of graphs right now, man. Because it's it, they have to come at the appropriate time. There you go. There's another one. So now Perez is under investigation for spinning the black car, Grosjean. Jesus. So again, they might they might rule it an accident. He might get a penalty for the race. The guys that are sitting at track side, that the one, the guys that come out to rescue the cars, yeah, those those are the marshals. Now the race marshals, they're interviewing Fernando also now. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you're saying with the with the wheels, back might wheels. Might have been where he got hit, though. He got hit on that tire. No, that man, that that that's yeah. a lot of brake dust. I gotta see the other side. That's a tire that got hit. We'll see, and I'm sure we'll see it though. Alonso, ever so hopeful. They just yeah. showed Vettel and Hamilton's <clears throat> fuel. They're almost identical. The Mercedes is slightly better on fuel though. Even though Hamilton catching. up to 16 now. 16 seconds. 16 behind. seconds. Yeah. He was at 24 when he came out of the pits there. It is not a secret that I am an Alonso fan. I think that <laughs> in, in, in in terms of 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 like not not even not even just raw talent, but being a complete package, like a driver that has the 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 talent, like he's like he's actually quick, but he's also a thinking driver. Mm. Um, some people have likened him to like so, so some say that like. To put Alonso and Alonso together, you need like bits of Senna and bits of Prost and mix it together. He's a right. funny guy for the most part too. Yeah, I think some teams he's, get annoyed he's, he's because he talks shit. Lighthearted. Yeah. lighthearted. 
He, but he says what he wants a lot of the time, though, too. Yeah. He say, he talks shit once in a while. Yo, as, he, as, he, all, as all Spanish people do, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Spanish people talk shit like... That, that, that Latin fire. But, uh, but he, if, he, if he's pissed off, he's going to say why. But, but he's obviously not mad. He learned his lesson. But I, I it would just be such oh, there a... There you go, shit. sorry. So Perez just got a penalty for a spinning, um, spinning grocery. That was his fault, though. It was. The black car that spun? Yeah. So a 10 second penalty. And oh, there you go. 10 second for Hockenberg as well. Yeah, eh? two, two 10 second penalties Oof. for both those accidents. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so a 10 second penalty is that they have to actually like go into the pits and sit in the pits for 10 seconds. So that entire time that they spend going into the pits, that also gets added out. So it's not just 10 seconds. Ugh. They're losing quite a chunk of time. And they can't like do change. Can they do changes at yeah. all? No, 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 no. The car has to stay with nobody touching it, just sitting there for ten seconds. But you can serve that penalty at a pit stop. So you yeah. change change the tires, sit ten more seconds, and then go. Yeah. Uh, your other choice is to not go through the pits at all, and then when the race is over, they'll, they'll just, just take it add off. Ten seconds to your time. Oh and my god! That'll put you. It might put you back a few places though. Yeah. It's up to you when you want to do it. It's a strategy. That's 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 why again F one is a team sport that way. And again, if there's a safety car, um, just about I've never seen it, but I'm about certain you can take your penalty then, mm -hmm. and not, then you have time to catch up while the safety car's out. Yeah, that's crazy. For Chapin's not letting him pass. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh! oh my god, I'm five oh, and six. Fuck. That's that was amazing. That's the S. You, yeah. you were driving the video yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just passed him on that. Oh. Yeah, okay. Going, no, going no, no, over no, no. 200 kilometers an hour. I know. Oh, there's his dad. Yeah. <laughs> his dad's like, oh, my God. His dad used to be an F1 driver. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this, little... this, the youngest driver in history, this guy, Verstappen, yep. his dad was a, wow. an F1 driver. But achieved very little, very little in terms of, like, victories. Here's a little fact. <laughs> During qualifying, uh, at the end of it, yeah. Verstappen, he took sixth place and they instantly showed his dad, picks up his cell phone and walks behind, I guess, calling his mom or something because <laughs> really? his, his dad's best qualifying ever through his career was sixth place. And his son matched it on his second race ever at 17. Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your pen just bounced off the shelf up there. <laughs> So, and, and landed perfectly here. <laughs> I think they just told uh, Rosberg. Rocket and in for a pit stop. Wait, what so did they tell Vettel? I think they just told Rosberg that he has to slow down 0.2 seconds per lap to save his slow players. So in this last. track, you lose about... There you go. Two and a half seconds stop. 24 seconds. 20, 25 seconds in each pit, pit stop. Oh, as it is. All these so teams must have improved. to that 10 seconds for a, for a 10 second stop That's yeah nutty. it fucks your race yeah all these teams have improved their pit times man like that was, two and a half seconds of this race has been like an average this last year that would be like the record was like a 2.4 no, for but, the whole year or something right the last race most teams were go like we're pulling like three second stops here and there but i think that's just because there were just a lot like of teams oh there's a 3.8 for ricardo okay during the uh, on, on the on the sky um F1 show last week they were saying that maybe it's because a few of the teams were getting used to like that hollow hub like just like cause, cause that cause when that is there you have to be precise you have to be like mm. yeah I remember the first race oh, there was right. a lot of sort of weird little mishaps yeah, in the pit there. Reckon Ninja whatever they just pulled a 2.5 second stop for him oh, clearly all the teams have been practicing their pit stops for sure they must have it and actually, would they ever fire someone for like if they really fucked up? They did that with McLaren, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, a couple of years back, uh, one guy like kept missing the like his job was like back back left tire, like a re rear left or something, yeah, or rear right. He like he did it not okay. You do it once, like you do it one race. It, I guess like you, you can attribute that to like bad luck or this and that. But like he kept doing it. Ah, oh, done out. <laughs> I love this camera angle. Oh. Showing that again. <laughs> the car almost, you moved. Yeah. <laughs> the tire almost went right over oh, the I'm, camera lens. I'm thinking of that fucking camera, man. <laughs> Is it like the posts? guy's laying down there? Yeah. No, yeah. it probably mounted that in the grass. Yeah. You did it right in the grass. But yeah, I remember last week when uh, 
Raikkonen got an accident on the first lap and they couldn't get that tire off like that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy didn't get fired. Arriva Bennett, came, they showed Arriva Bennett come out and gave him like a "Don't worry about it, man. It's okay." Yeah. That was because he got bumped though. So his the wheel hub was oh okay. probably the thread was crossed or something. Who knows? Right. Okay, that's something on the camera lens in the middle there. That's not the TV. <laughs> this thing here. Yeah, that's the camera lens. <laughs> not this other thing. <laughs> no, no, a bit higher. No, no. This is a white dot. Yeah, that's see it. that? It's like right here. Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> no, the <laughs> shit razor blade. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going crazy. What's going on with this pit stop? Oh my god. Oh Get yeah, that. that was his penalty. That's why he just took his 10 second penalty. Oh, okay. That's why 10 seconds feels like 10 years. But now he's in what? 13.8. Yeah, 16th. 16th. Yeah, he came out in 16th. That was Outside of the point. So like wh whatever happens if he finishes 16 or actually anything higher than 10, yeah, his team gets no money for this race. That's like oh my you, god. you know the constructor points like right. only start accumulating like from the 10th point, the 10th position up. up. Oh, okay. Yeah. And 10th is one point. Uh, team Radio. Team. There you go. Sebastian Box. Sebastian Box. Box is uh, uh, Pit. pits. Like when they call somebody to the box, they call them to the pits. Box, box, box. Box, box, box. Here he comes. The penultimate. Oh, no. Still got one more S. In Sorry, that was first, seven, but not... You know what's really funny? I don't recognize the 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 track unless it's from this perspective. Like the from yeah. the, like I see it from the top. I'm like I don't fucking know what I'm looking at. And then I see him like oh I remember this turn. <laughs> I'm horrible at this. Are you I'm, really? I'm terrible. I, I, I know I know all the tracks from looking at them, like at the overhead. Like yeah. and I know like all kinds of like past tracks and like tracks that they haven't raced for in years. Yeah. But looking at them, like I'm horrible at this. Yeah. They're the only ones that I truly recognize, like sector by sector, I maybe Canada and Silverstone and like maybe Singapore, maybe. Mm. <laughs> that one S turn on the Montreal Grand Prix, I really uh, that it, I, it's uh, like so frozen in my mind. <laughs> like, I just say I'm like down cool. downhill and try not to hit that wall. <laughs> yeah, and full throttle. I just say screw it and just go for the straight line. That's what the Singapore <laughs> sling was pretty much, and yeah. that's what you were saying. But it took balls for that. Yeah. Where's Where's Vettel coming? With a, oh yes, he came out in front. No, 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 he's fighting. Oh, sh so vet. We missed that on the commentary. That was critical for Rosberg there to get in front for his oh. battle. Anyways, so now he's gonna have to fight him to pass him back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Vettel is just fucking. Can Vettel do? See, but that's what um, uh, Rosberg's team radio. They just told him to slow down 0.2 per lap because he was wrecking his tires too fast. Can Vettel do half a second per lap? If Vettel can do half a second per lap faster than than Hamilton, he is, he's got him. What do we got? 18 laps left. Oh. Shit. Hamilton just complained to the wall about his tires. He's going slower and slower. Lap 38 we're talking about here. we have be really bad at this, but we're, we're on lap 38. <laughs> There's so much going on. This, this, is, a, this is a proper... Proper race, a proper race. Yeah, some of the teams you can tell. Like, look at when you can. Okay, well, I'll, I'll point it out when we see the uh, Ferrari again. Look at the back. But hold on, Mercedes too. You're gonna have to get a good angle. Okay, see around the exhaust, the the opening, and the Mercedes yeah. too. How tight it is. They have their cooling is on point. Look at when you see some of the other cars. They have. They changed that that cover. Ferrari started like that last year, though. Uh, it, Ferrari's been like that. Like Ferrari's uh, whole thing with this with this um, new engine formula was that they came with the engine that required the less amount of cooling. That's like that was from last year, even. Remember that, like how like because yeah. and you saw the Ferrari um, air intake above above the driver, and it was ju it's just a triangle like this. Since last year, it's just a little triangle. That's and, the smallest one that they all have. And the the. That sort of space. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I wish Mike brings me another Ted, beer. Ted's a little disappointed. 
So yeah, I now that Hamilton, I, basically Hamilton didn't stretch his mediums long enough on his last pit side. That was pretty cool. Helmet cam in the oh pit. Oh, Ham oh, Hamilton oh, didn't shit. stretch his mediums long enough to be able to go on the mediums to end the race on. So they had to put the hards on because now he's got... 17 or whatever laps left. Mercedes got too cocky. They left. didn't see the Ferrari coming. Now they put. Yeah, they. Push. I wanna. I wanna. Let's let's get something straight. Let's get something straight. And I, and I tried to explain to you, Danny, this before. By no means, am I a Vettel fan. But oh, I'm still oh, I'm still a Ferrari fan. <laughs> <laughs> so conflicted. <laughs> I'm a Ferrari fan, but I'm not a Vettel fan. So. Uh, team oh. radio. Hamilton's pissed. Shit. I love how he's so relaxed, man. I love Hamilton now. The new Hamilton is badass. He's like, these are the wrong ties, man. These are the wrong ties, man. Just, that's, what he just said. that's what he just said to his wall on the radio. Yeah, but apparently he, he fucked himself there. Like I was just saying. Apparently, though, like, uh, and this is something that Ted was saying in the pre-show is that Vettel just pulled the fastest lap. Sorry to interrupt. Is that um, it's it's uh, Hamilton only like really starts like calling his his uh, his race engineer man when he's, when he's pissed. pissed off. <laughs> he's, he's stressed out now. He wants to win. He's up in third. Well, look at that. Negatives, negatives. Oh, Positive, sorry, laps. positives. Two sectors worse than Vettel. <laughs> That's what Brundle's just saying. Brundle is awesome. Yeah, see, they wouldn't give the, the wall basic. Brundle's saying basically Hamilton was expecting to get the medium tires, but the wall told them they made an executive decision. The mediums they had left were more worn than the hards. They figured he'll be faster on them. Even though they're, like, I think more than a second a lap on this track or close to a second a lap when they're fresh. Everything else equal. 16 laps to go. Oh, Vettel took over. Yeah, Hamilton. Amazingly. Hamilton's, let's be honest. Hamilton's stressed out. Where is... uh um, thing about his dog. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Roscoe? <laughs> Where's Roscoe? He's he's down in the footwell. <laughs> he's licking his toes. They got uh wait, who are we looking at right now? Who's this? This is that is Roman Rojan. <laughs> he had a bunch of shit on the front of his car. It it gets like, like that. It's you know, a bunch of weird yeah. shit. Yeah. Every every one of these cars Is that the antennas you're tightening? Yeah. 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 Oh. Like, like that. See, like he's got three. This guy's got three there. So one, like there's the radio antenna, telemetry antenna, and then the. Uh, yeah, we're not. Okay. Oh. No. Shh. Listen, shh, listen, listen. Because I've seen this. Brought to you by Rolex. Hold on. Listen. There's problem solved. Oh, oh shit, Verstappen out. Oh. Not beach. <laughs> He's taking a long See, way there. These commentators <laughs> half half missed what just happened there. Patty Lowe said on the radio, "Will you let Hamil uh Stormtroop? What? What is going on with the mask? That's just the, what their helmets look like. <laughs> Sometimes they they bring uh, crazy helmets for the uh, engineers. Patty, Sorry, did, yeah. What Patty Lowe just asked on the radio, "Will you let him pass if he comes up behind you?" He was talking to Rosberg, but it went through to Hamilton's radio by accident. And then that's why Hamilton just said, what, do you want me to pit again? But he was, they, they, they didn't give him a choice. Because last year in Hungary, oh, they were, they shit. told, they didn't catch that even. They told, yeah, we were, we were talking, we didn't get a chance to rewind. And when I watched this live, I rewinded. 
Rewound. Rosberg in Hamo in what? in Hungary last That's year. That's the correct term. In, in Rewound it. In in Budapest, <laughs> he was told to let Hamilton pass, and he didn't last year. So it was a fight, and then they were pissed at each other for like two weeks. They didn't talk and shit. And they're like, no, we're not friends anymore. They were pissed. So they, he just asked him on the radio, "Are you gonna let Hamilton pass?" But Hamilton was, thought he was asking him if he's gonna pit again. Had to pit again. Stop. Ah, oh, I see. You see what I mean? What I mean? So he wasn't was not supposed to hear that. I mean, uh, high I, drama in Malaysia with fifteen laps to go. So I think <laughs> instead of deal with the politics, they just told Rosberg just pit now. And they put him on the media. He's on the faster tires. So right now Mercedes is two three. Vettel still in first. Hamilton's got thirteen point nine seconds to close in. <laughs> Shit! Again, they're tell Hamilton's wall telling him you're gonna catch Vettel in the last five five laps. He's got 14 to go, 14 and, seconds and then to Hamilton close. Hamilton not being okay. He's like, hey man, don't talk to me in the corners. He's, he, again, like Jeez. you can't be talking to him in the corners. No, I agree. He's trying to concentrate. But he's concentrating. He's got to close almost a second a lap. More than a second lap, if he actually, because yeah, even, uh, when, yeah, when, he, when he gets up to Vettel, he has to be able battle. to overtake him. That's right. 13 laps to go. I think it's going to, it's a tall oh, ask. Oh, Nicky Lauda. Nicky Lauda being. It's looking tense. Lap 43. You can see, you can see him bouncing. By the way, we're talking about uh, It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and he was working for Ferrari? Yeah. Lauda is working He's, for Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes. Sorry. Right, right. Executive chairman or something like that. Oh, 13.9. Go Ferrari. So again, now Vettel. Not necessarily Vettel. See, Vettel's on much <laughs> older tires, so. <clears throat> oh, fastest sector of the race. Hamilton just pulled. Mm hmm. Hockenberg in 11th place. Just told us while he's not going to make it to the end on these tires. 13, 13 laps. He's <laughs> they really degrade. Yeah, It's yeah. the heat, man. This is the, the hottest I think any track has ever been for a race. The hottest it's ever been here. They're designed to run in like 30, 40 degrees track temperature. Like right. Most countries are like tw in the 20s. You know what I mean? What? It's hot as hell. Yeah, you can see, you can see the heat. Fumes, yeah. <laughs> whatever they are, whatever they are. Let's yeah. call it the haze. It's just the haze. haze. You can't. You can look in the background. You can't even see like a few kilometers because no. it's like a hundred percent humidity, thirty-five degrees. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, like, brutal. I hate humidity more than yeah, more more than the heat. Which yeah. and it is hot. Yeah. What um what they all train and fear is like your body exerted to like that kind of humidity because like, yeah. it's, it's and inside of the cockpit. Of each one of these cars, it's like the temperature of it is about fifty degrees, fifty yeah. there was five zero degrees, and they're wearing like four layers of fireproof clothing. Yeah, it's fucked. It's there was very an extreme interview with one of the trainers for one of the drivers before the race, and uh, he's talking about that. This and Singapore are hardcore. Sure. There you go. He's pissed off. Out of the race. Wait, well, yeah, why was he just out cooking? Of the race? He's dead. Cut, car's dead. They're not reliable enough. The Hondas are just not reliable enough. Hmm. They pulled out Alonso on lap 23. Disappointing. There we go. Rosberg's lapping ha faster than Hamilton. Hamilton's lapping faster than Vettel. They're in that order. <laughs> Vettel singing blue flags on the radio. He's calling. He's about see this. He's about to do some lapping here. See that blue flags, blue flags are there. Oh my god! This is exactly what Jay was talking about. That uh, is possible. Like there you go. Hamilton or Vettel is about to put some traffic between him and ah uh. between him and Hamilton. <laughs> So now when Hamilton catches up behind Vettel, he's going to have to fight these two guys as well before he fights Vettel. Wow. And, well, actually, Hulkenberg just said he's going to be pitting before the end.
You know what the blue flag is? No. What's the blue flag? Blue flag means the guy behind you is going way faster. Let him pass. Ah. Uh. So if you're about to get lapped or something like that, they'll t- they'll you'll see the blue flag waving or flashing, and you have to let that guy pass you. And yeah, you can, no, you, it's, you it's, 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 it's when you're getting lapped. And you can get... Uh, There we go. You're basically telling him, go faster. Just told Hamilton he's got to pull a 42-7 every lap till the end. He's got 11 laps to go. He's catching, but he's not catching a second or a second a lap, and he needs to be. I th- oh shit. I mean, I don't. I ha. Ah. <laughs> That's what he just you said. You guys this. suck. He shouldn't have watched this live. There's still about almost um, 20% of the race fuel left. As Ted was just saying, the cars are going to get a lot lighter before the end of the race. Therefore, and, faster. And therefore, faster? Yeah. Just under 20% left, I guess, of fuel. So, like, the, the beginning of the race and the end of the race are almost like two different kinds of races. Oh, dude. It's crazy. And the middle is the its own the, thing. I, I, that, yeah, I like to call the middle, like, the, the chess game. Because at that point, like, you're, like, in most races, yeah. you're, like, you're doing like a mental game, like racing against yourself, pretty much trying to like better your performance. But this race being like action through and through, it's awesome. Yeah, there's so many strategies. Like right. here, even here, some teams are doing two, some are doing three. Yeah. And in the pre-show, Mercedes said they calculated that the difference between a two and three stop is about only two seconds. What they calculated. Wow. Over the whole rate, the length of the race, because you're so, on fresher tires for longer, you can push harder. Right. right. So we, like, are I? I I Hamilton feel like there's a lot of to, simulation that goes into like ten laps left, the, eleven point six. Hamilton's got it under. See, he's told to do eleven point seven. He's got eleven point six and ten laps to go. Sorry. Uh, the seems that, like do do they simulate like obviously they know the best ways to take corners right uh, and, and do the race like are there simulations at all that exist that they that they would use? Dude, um, sure, they, ca- they calculate all those physics. Yeah. Like if you're on the harder tires when you have more fuel, they're gonna right. wear less fast because the right. Weight. I've I everyone so um things, a couple times I've seen on Reddit like a few times I've seen telemetry sheets yeah posted of um, hold on, hold on. Ted speaking see this is something they've been talking rumoring about the Mercedes has been holding back something the whole the whole season so far. <coughs> Hamilton's green in every section. That they just turn it up to hundred. Maybe their their hundred before was maybe probably ninety, right? Maybe, oh maybe shit! Less. And they give the real hundred now to win. So Lewis is definitely catching up to Vettel. Yeah, they're trying but, to every second. Oh, the question is like, is he catching up fast enough? Ah. Uh, so what Ted predicted twenty laps ago is it's going to come down to the last three laps between them. But see, like even the top, what did, we were just talking, what Jay was just saying, even the top teams can't. They calculated two seconds, and it comes down to even luck. Like yeah. the top team, Mercedes split their strategy. One team, one car did two stops, one car did three stops, and they're in second and third place, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it comes down to some luck. You get stuck in traffic, or oh, Vettel's holding them back. Nine laps to go. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Rosberg just said to his wall, talk to me about the race. All they could tell him was everybody's done stopping. <laughs> now, is that because of like rules? And, rules yeah. Right? They can't, right. they can't tell him how to, how to race. See, last year they would be able to say like, you're doing 0.2 seconds slower than Lewis or whatever. You can't say anything about wow. compar- comparing your times to anyone else. Or- wow. It, it got it got ridiculous last year, and there was a well, point there was a point where the commentary was like they're gonna have to stop this, and then new rules came in because I forget exactly what it was, but well, I mean, something no, went just, over the line um, too much. A man. few a few drivers, and notably Rosberg, they just they kept asking way too much strategy right. to the to the pit wall, right. like like stuff that they should, you know what I mean, like the stuff that would change the way you drive and like they were basically telling like he was basically asking every once in a while like all right how should i drive like how do i how should i approach this corner like have i been doing like a good enough job like how would i how would this affect like my overall time and honestly i mean yeah that 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 does take away from like your skill as a driver right i think rosberg is the guy that 
as far as absorbing data and like mathematical and technical intelligence, he probably has the most. He's the guy who speaks five or six languages. Right, right. So yeah, that's like he's saying. He's as always asking about numbers and stuff like that more than anybody else. He's Masa running, running a simulator radio. in his head. Oh. There are drivers, every Mas once in a while, in like the history of F1, there are drivers that come, battle for fifth. you know, come by that their strength is like, it's not natural racing talent, mm -hmm. but rather like studious, like, like, like sitting down and like practicing a lot. Right. Rosberg is more of that than Lewis. Lewis is like. 100% raw talent. It's right. more, yeah, more like a protege. Like yeah. he's racing based on how the how, how feels how heavy is the wheel when I'm turning and stuff. And then right. yeah. Rosberg is like, last time I I shifted two meters back type of thing. Right, right. right. Whereas Hamilton just feeling it. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. just the way they talk. Like Hamilton with his crying and stuff. He's just more of just runs on emotion. Right. Because the other guy runs. You'll never see Rosberg crying. Right. <laughs> he's like, oh he's shit! Just, I, mu I must like, have taken the turn too slow. More like a robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's more like a robot. Yeah, yeah. must be the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Massa was just told on the radio that he's racing his teammate Bottas is going to catch him and oh, possibly shit. Oh. before the those are two red uh, Torosos. Torosos. Yeah, they're fighting Torosos. Torosos. Yeah. Right. Toro I don't Toroso. see the yellow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> see a gold, gold nose, blue, blue intake. Verstappen's killing at this race. He's he was holding back. Ma uh, Ma oh no, there he is. Oh, oh sh that was nice. That was a well cut corner, but yeah, they're, they're they're teammates. Yeah, they are teammates. Yeah. Often, was that allowed by them? Like they're like, yeah, no, that doesn't look as happy now. Some Just. teams are very strict on like team orders and telling them like. All right, do not let the next guy like through or like or telling the other guy like you must not overtake your teammate. Right. But some other teams are more like, yeah, you're free to race. I think the the last two years the attitude has changed because especially last year, Mercedes let them go all out. They were right. in first and second place and they could just say, Don't pass each other, just lock it, just coast to the end. You guys right. got first and second. But they let them fight, Hamilton and Rosberg. Right. And I think some of the other teammates opened up to that. It's awesome for TV. It's awesome for every, yeah, everyone. Loves yeah. the team for letting them do that. It caused problems a few times. They crashed, like in Spa. In the opening yeah. credits, you see Rosberg crashed Hamilton at Spa and oh, fucked no. both of their races, really. But they let him race. And Nico's it, hit me. Better. Nico hit me. Nico hit me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seven laps to go. This is a, this is a, this a is grand intense. old exciting Grand Prix. This is. Yeah, I told you. Grand no Grand matter Prix. no matter what, and I was hoping for the rain. If it had if it had rained today, it would have been a completely different race. Yeah, yeah. completely different race, completely. But who do you but, think would have had a would have come down to strategy more? Yeah, <laughs> way more strategy and way more like raw like driving talent. Did, did you not notice that as soon as it rained? Um, during qualifying, Ricciardo, for example, like went way up, yeah, right? The grid kind of rearranged a bit, yeah. Because it, it, it does, like at, at that point, like your talent and your balls, really, as a driver yeah. to like approach a corner. And in the rain, like a lot of the time, especially if you're in the middle of the pack, you're driving blind. Like you're just driving by like instant because you can't see anything because the car in front is like having a rooster, they call it a rooster tail of water. Right. That can reach 15 feet in the air. Oh, so you can right, you just right. have a feet, wall. 15 feet thick too. Yeah. You just, you don't, you don't see anything. So you're like driving by instinct and like memory alone. Right. So it's fucked. Yeah. That, that's crazy. Yeah. That's but fucking that, nuts. so that, yeah, that, that tends to bring up like the natural raw talent more. But this is a dry, uh, sorry, a dry race. And it's still it's still awesome, right? So far, it's been great, a great Grand Prix. Yeah, this again, yeah, it's, being dry, it's more of a pure race where it would have come down a lot to strategy and feel. <laughs> Kimi Rakuten in fourth, Damn. recouping seven seven positions. 
That's from his start. He was in last place, I think, after his tire blew. Yeah. He he recouped seven from where he started. Yeah. But he's the, passed the Ferrar- way more cars than that. The Ferraris are looking intense. Man. Yeah. They're looking fast. Uh, it's, it- it's no it's it's no accident. They've it- it, they they they've done something right in both the engine and the arrow. That's yeah, it's for sure. They haven't focused too much on Kimi this race, but he's passed maybe twenty five cars moving his way up the up the grid. There's in fourth place. Yeah. Vettel tell just told to keep his head down, keep focusing. Hamilton at ten seconds, five laps to go. Rosberg seventeen. Hamilton Reckonin's in fourth, but he's fifty seconds. Hamilton back. down ten seconds. Unless something happens to this Ferrari, it's gonna be Vettel's race. Wow. Which which is gonna be intense. Go Ferrari. Forza. Forza Ferrari. Forza Ferrari. Yeah, to play off your point, I'm not so much a Ferrari fan, but more of a Vettel fan. <laughs> as, as far as F1 goes, like if I just popped into a couple million bucks, aside from the uh, derelict car or whatever, I'm going for a supercar. <laughs> I'm going for a supercar. It's, pro- it's going to be a Ferrari, I think. <laughs> There's a chance I could maybe get a Porsche, but it's, it's going to be a Ferrari, right? <laughs> For almost anybody, right? Just say it. Just, Just say it. Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. <You know>? Like- <laughs> Ferrari. Yeah, it's badass. I'm, a, I'm like I'm not a car guy, but if I was, it's probably gonna be a Porsche though. Uh, it just that's because you don't know shit. No, I, that's, I, that's I, I'm saying. I, I just, don't. I never said I did. <laughs> like I think I would get to the lot and I'd be like, I really want a Ferrari, and I get to the lot, I'd be like, well, I don't know, man. The Porsche. Is- <laughs> Porsches are just cheaper. Yeah, they're German. It's they're. I don't know, man. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Like a GT2 or a GT3 are both. I'm 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 so more in the ass, I'm man. more in the Jeremy Clarkson camp uh, with this. That at that point, like when you can afford those cars, like that kind of car, you're not buying it for practicality because no, no. The, the the trunk is minute. Yeah, and 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 you're not buying it well, for fuel buying efficiency. You like it. No, well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're not buying it for fuel efficiency because like you're buying gonna... it to take up north or outside the city to fuck around in. Or right, to... and at that point, all you care is about like or like how the downtown. car makes you feel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is like a subjective okay. thing. I think right? that's when you get to the Klexen level of owning ten or fifteen of these things. <laughs> whatever makes you feel, or like Jay Leno's garage with like three hundred cars. Like fuck off with that. If you get it, one car, either way, Italian have... Italian cars are supposed to be just better in that res- in that respect. Of if like, you have just one, the feel it's of gonna driving. give you a boner no matter what. You know to what be mean? to be honest, I wouldn't even it's, get there. You know what I would buy. If if I got if I had enough if I had enough money to buy like a supercar, I wouldn't even go like supercar territory. I buy uh four C Alfa Romeo. Okay. I guess suburban. <laughs> <laughs> They're great for zombie apocalypses. <laughs> <laughs> Generally just good for bringing a crew around. <laughs> Plenty of trunk space. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> You almost lost interest, eh, with uh, Vettel in first place. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not losing interest. I just like I know that that's gonna happen. Vettel's gonna win, and it's a bittersweet win because I don't want Vettel to win. Well, you don't want but I want you Ferrari. Want you don't want Hamilton to win, anyways, because he's. <laughs> he's, he's not German. Uh. I guess you'd rather see Raikkonen pull it over Vettel. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at my two guys. One two. <laughs> F- no. But- to to what you were saying, man. The the like Raikkonen has done a tremendous job this race. Three or no, actually four. Well, four laps to go. Less than four laps to go. Right now we're in lap fifty three. The last three laps that uh, Ted was talking about. Yeah. Horner rubbing his chin. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of lapping again. This fucking Red Bulls Jeez. just got lapped by <laughs> by, their, the by the former Red Bull guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah, he was. Vettel was driving for them last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god. He got, he got four championships in a Red Bull. Four Jeez. consecutive championships. Yeah. <laughs> just, Maurizio Arriva Bene. 
Yeah, man. Happy as hell. Uh, wait, wait. Happy as hell. Happy as hell. <laughs> in Italian, Italian the, the sound doesn't exist ah. in the Italian language. Like the of an of an of an H. Yeah. Doesn't exist. So like that's why like if you like if you encounter anybody that's like Italian, 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 like they'll never pronounce like H's. They're like yeah. ah, happy. I'm very happy right now. I'm they pronounce happy. H's when it's the letter C. So because yeah. it makes a ch sound. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, like you know how, like in the way you spell laughter in yeah. Italian, like like you know, like ha 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 in English, yeah, yeah. like in Italian, you just put like a a a a, like ah ah ah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm not joking. That's great. Yeah. Is it is it with the accent? Like the, no, the no, it's like with space. Just, a space a space yeah. a it's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> but they understand that that's like ha ha, you know. Okay. <laughs> Like Bottas is right on Massa's ass. Look at that, point six. Battle for six is. Great. You you've been cheering for Massa over Bottas too, no? You're going for the. No, no, no. Bottas is no. definitely superior, but something's going on with his car. I'm more of a Bottas fan, to be honest. Yeah, Bottas is way better than Massa. Well, Massa's just on his way out of Formula One too. Yeah, it's just ever since his coma thing. He's just kind of been hanging in there. He's performing, whatever. He's up there. Yeah. yeah. Just not. He's lost a fight. Like, look at his teammates just about to pass him. You can't stop it. Oh yeah. Oh He's, maybe. Uh, Bottas is gonna have him next. Like when the well, he only has two laps to go. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't remember which of these two guys finished first. Bottas has him though. He could do it. He could very well do it. Watching this the first time, I was like too excited about Hamilton Vettel. I just kind of yeah, I didn't pay enough attention to this. That is amazing. Two laps Two remaining. Laps remaining. We're a lap fifty-five out of fifty-six, and Sebastian Vettel leading a Grand Prix after a year of not winning anything last year with Red Bull. Not even he, getting close to winning. He anything. came to Ferrari um, as a recommendation from Sabine Kemp, who worked with uh, she was a um, Schumacher's um, manager, and she told Vettel personally called Vettel and said, "You know what? Go to Ferrari. Ferrari is gonna be good. Don't worry about them. I know they're they're hit. They, they've hit some of, sort of a rough patch recently, mm -hmm. but maybe next year. Believe me, and." It's paid off, man. It's the first team that's managed to like beat uh, Mercedes, but not not just of, out of a a clever um, tire strategy, not out of like uh, somebody's like car breaking. They've they're clearly faster than the Mercedes in uh, some. You know, up gonna, there. You know, there's gonna be all kinds of detractors saying it was based on their strategy. I think it's pretty. Oh, here goes Bottas making his move. And Massa's holding him. Oh! oh they just bounced off each other on the last <laughs> lap. No, Massa held him back. Shit! They just bounced. Jesus Christ. They're so fast. Look See, look, fast look, look, look at... Okay, these guys are running Mercedes engines. Look at the opening by their exhaust compared to Mercedes works team. It's See, look, it's huge. It's huge. It's, it's oh, like four shit. times as big. And oh, there he went. Oh. Botas. Did it again nice. on turn five and six. Two passes Down the on hill. that fucking crazy corner. <clears throat> They're going over 200 on that corner. That's that's <laughs> race craft, that's man. The, that's the fast they, corner. They the managed, corner of the both track. of those drivers managed to drive very close to each other and don't do any damage to to like the other's car. That's like that's when you can tell somebody has skill. There right. we go. The celebratory on board to the end. This is often? They do this every time? Fairly often, Usually. yeah. They'll, oh. they'll throw... Oh, they'll uh, throw I don't even remember being like, yes, we did it, but... He's shaking hey, He's pointing. He's pointing. Yes, boy. He's like, we're going to see him over there. He's going to be over there. Oh, Look at boy. that. Hamilton's still at 10 seconds. Vettel held him all the way back. He and again, if I, if I... He gained two seconds I, I'm there, going to be left. excited in about 10 seconds, but it will not be for Vettel. It will be for Ferrari. Mm. I want to make that very oh, clear. Why the hate? Why the... Why, why the <laughs> not even the hate, but like the <laughs> displeasure of having Vettel win. <laughs> oh, That's why. Is this the finger? Yeah, the finger. 
<laughs> hey, man. If you don't want those gloves. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that wouldn't be enough to turn me into an Alonso fan. No, uh, I was an Alonso fan. If we fan went down before, to the though. Ferrari dealership. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ready for the swerve? I, I don't know. Oh, am shit. I? <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Yeah. He's got enough space to fuck around. Look at this. I love this. He gives a flyby. Congratulations. <laughs> he gives a flyby to his team. Nice. So beautiful. That is that. That was good. That was good. That, that was, was a good race. That was not only that. That's important for Formula One. How did I do on spoilers? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. Good. Yeah, you did pretty good. Although the last the last third of it, I knew. I knew that you knew that Vettel won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew. I knew. Just 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 things you said <laughs> or didn't say, rather. Ah. <laughs> I try to just be like whatever, like this is what they just said could happen. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. I don't think I said anything different than Crofty said. How did Reckonin do in uh, uh, Australia? Yeah, his cars didn't finish. He didn't finish. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Team Radio. Top class. <laughs> nice. <laughs> sing, oh, thank sing you. Thank you. You're singing. He was singing Blue Flag earlier, a couple of laps back too. Blue Flag, <laughs> Blue Flag. You yeah, remember Reckoning, they had the trouble with their, his back left tire? Yeah. And then... Arriba Bene. I, I don't know if they ever really specified what happened. Remember he pulled over to the side and just got out? They just yeah. told, him, told him to turn the car off. He didn't get to finish. But he fucking performed here. He blew his tire, crashed yeah. on the first first lap, and... Uh, pulled all the way back to fourth. And not to take anything away with, with Reckoning, like you said, he... Clearly the Ferrari, like... Ferrari is back. Yeah. They did it. Yeah. I wouldn't have said that they were going to come back like this soon no. last year. No, hell no. But in all honesty, like like we were talking about like being a constructor of of the uh, or and an engine manufacturer at the same time does give you certain advantages with this particular formula because if you yeah, don't yeah. if you don't know how to like handle this or that or like if you run into problems like they said at some point in in some of the pre-shows then you it's it's likely that as an engine manufacturer as well you have somebody somebody that knows how to deal with that problem in the vast array of ferrari employees right right <laughs> yeah see all you hate you you said this for years that Vettel just could, ran on the red bull he's a shitty driver still be told just you the he's not <laughs> what the ferrari was shit well, where's reichen and he's like 40 seconds back and he didn't but yeah his last but race. yeah but you you even said it he like he did like work his way up the field a couple times all right well we'll see what happens during the season yeah let's Vettel's see, got let's see what happens during the season uh, Vettel's got Kimmy covered <laughs> Have no doubt. Oh, the power of the finger. Is he gonna? Is he gonna go out with the stupid finger? Is it, he didn't oh, even bother with taking off his shoulder patch. His shoulder patch. The hands device. <laughs> oh no finger! No finger! Oh no finger at all! Nice. Raising this is the weird one like this. Yeah, like he goes like. No more eins. No, no, not like that. He goes like. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Good for him, though. I mean, it, it is good to see a non-Mercedes car up there. Yeah, man. Vettel. Give me that flag. Was that you? You working the turntable? 
<laughs> you hear that? No, I, I heard that definitely. No. It sounded like a like a record reverse or something. All right, and with that, would like we can we can end our drive along here. I guess right so. along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. We'll continue watching this, but there's nothing to commentate about the yeah the podium here. First All place, right. Vettel. Hamilton's in second place with his helmet on. Awesome. <laughs> He's a little depressed. That is amazing. That was an amazing race. That was a great race. Flatoutfever.com. Check listen it out. To, listen to bamboo.com. And check out our race podcast coming up. Coming up. Check it, check it. Whoops. You can pause that. <laughs>